Hey there, it's Jenny McGarvey. Let's take a look what I received in my Coco Daisy box for Take Flight. I haven't even opened it yet. I received all of these kits as part of my work with Coco Daisy. I did order some extra things, but they'll be shipped later. So you're only gonna see the things I received to work with. I will link all of these kits up below in case you are interested in them. And if you have never used it before, I also have a one-time discount code for you as well. All right, so let me push this to the side. Here is the little card that has the artwork on it, super cute, and then obviously the inspiration for the kit. And then this is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. You can't see the black parts on it because it's a sample, so it doesn't have that printed on there. All right, so first up on top is the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. All right, so as always comes in the cool pouch that is really sturdy and heavy duty and is great for storage. All right, so let's look at the three by four cards. I say this every month, I know, but three by, three by four cards are some of my favorite elements because they just contain all of the awesome artwork and I love seeing it in this format. Even though I don't really use them as much as I'd like to. The cute little umbrellas. I live somewhere that typically it doesn't rain very much, but this year it's been raining a lot, so I'll probably have some opportunity for this. I love this card, so cute. I love that there's a great mix of decorative ones, like if you wanna stick them in just as decoration, but then also lots of ones for journaling and adding photos or creating your own decorative bits and pieces. Okay, that is so cute. Those little kites and the way that they're scattered like that, adorable. Those flowers are so cute. And one of my favorite parts of the kit this month is these flowers. I like that there are, obviously this is sort of rainbow-ish, and there's a lot of really pretty blues and greens like that I like, but there's also some unexpected colors as well, which I think is really great. Like the depth of the blues and the addition of the grays is really nice. Like it just sort of mutes the rainbows a little bit. So like if you're not a rainbow person, which I understand there's lots of you out there, the gray, so for example, like look at this card. The labels would ordinarily be bright and cheerful and you'd be like, oh yes, but the addition of the blue gray helps mute it a little bit and maybe not make it so crazy bright. Look at that, so cute. The tiny flowers are just adorable. Don't we wish this was true, nothing but blue skies. Although there's probably some of you out there that love a rainy day. I am not one of those people. Okay, but I am a person who loves splatters and watercolor. I just, I always love it, it's super cute. Then you get a little bit of photorealisticness with those clouds. Same thing here. Okay, look how cute, all the little rainbows. And again, they're not like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, like they're a little bit unexpected, which is nice too. All right, so that is the three by four cards. Then we'll pull out a handful of the die cuts, which if you are new here, they have a sticky back, so you just pull the back off and they're sticky and you don't need any adhesive and they do a great job of sticking. So lots of fun little elements that are the perfect embellishments in your planners, your memory planners, your journals, your scrapbook layouts. I mean, basically all the things, right? Okay, so then this is the stamp set that comes with this kit, and it's very cute for sure. I love the little cloud for some reason, and actually the raindrops as well, like for using in my planner to notate that it was raining. All right, so I'm always a big fan of this font that April is written in. I don't know why, but I always really like it a lot. And the photorealistic clouds. 
and then the rainbow stripes, and then this ombre is so pretty. So yeah, those are super cute. All right, how adorable are the little glitter raindrops? So cute. And then we have some shipping tags in here I can see, and then also some baker's twine as well. Always so good for journaling or layering. One of the things that I usually mention and I forgot today, these are canvas tags. I'm gonna pull one of them out so you can see the texture in case you're not familiar with these. I love that they're still really thin. Well, okay, I shouldn't say really thin, but they're still pretty thin, but they have this, because they're like a canvas, they just have a really nice texture, but they're also not too terribly thick as well. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that I try not to look at the kits too in depth beforehand. So sometimes I'm not exactly sure what elements are, so if I say the wrong thing, obviously I will eventually figure them out. By the way, I love the puffy embossed stickers. I'm not a huge puffy sticker person in general, mostly because I do work in journals and planners, but the the puffy ones they get me every time i love the embossing on those this i'm so excited the little tiny flowers on the stickers so cute okay the rub-ons are adorable i love this the april showers bring me flowers and then it also has the super cute little tiny flowers as well all right so then the pattern papers they have two sides right so you've got the kites the you make me happy the words then you also have the rainbow stripe which is super cute and there's little patterns on there hopefully you can see those and then on the back is the little crosses or plus signs so so it's just a really nice mix of patterns like it's very usable and actually I think incredibly gender neutral as well all right, so I do receive the B6 inserts that I punch and put on discs. They're perfect for that. It's basically the same size as a mini happy planner, but what I love about these is, okay, obviously the divider is as cute as can be, and then you have a monthly little calendar. It's really the only thing that's dated. Okay, so then you have these stripe pages, which are basically the cutest, and then note pages on the back. There's several of these. And then you get into a blank note page with a little bit of art. Then you have these weekly pages. So the columns are one and a half inches wide. So you still have plenty of room to use your stickers and write things down. Notes in between, weekly notes, you get it. Then when we get to the end of the weeklies, which there's enough for the whole month, of course, you can see that, that I just flipped through all of those. Then, okay, notes, which love that little checklist, so cute. Okay, so then we get into the monthly, which yes, this is dated, I was totally wrong, that's also dated. But then we get into these daily pages, with, which have plenty of check marks and lines, and you can write the date, so they're undated, just like the weeklies and so then you have this whole like blank area as well which i think would be awesome for like doodling and brain dumps and things like that so theoretically this is how this is designed to be used like this spread would be for one day it's a lot of real estate though so you could definitely break this up but then there's enough for the whole month so I love, love, love these cute little inserts. And like I said, they punch beautifully. There's enough of a gutter, you can see right there, to punch and put on discs or in rings if you're into rings, absolutely. Same thing, there's enough of a gutter. And then, yeah, they're amazing. Okay, so then we have here, this is the stationery kit, which is one of my favorites, honestly, because there's a wide variety of bits and pieces in here to use that it's not all super specific to any project, and I like that a lot. Okay, so you of course have the Grow Green Ribbon clip, which is adorable and the light blue mild liner which is really pretty and i like this one a lot too i have one i have one of these already it's a very very mild like not bright in any way light blue raindrop sticky notes oh my gosh so cute then basically this little guy is so tiny and cute it's adorable and i'm going to show you he's a little 
he could be a keychain, he could be like a bag clip, you have both, right? So you have both of those little things. And then this little guy. So here's a roll of washi tape for reference. I actually thought this was much bigger, but if you see, he's really only about the size of washi tape, which is very cool, because he's not too enormous. So speaking of washi tape, this is the colorful stripe. I'll put that aside and I will swatch it out for you so then the cute little rain boots and again it has the pin on the back but you can easily remove that and then you can stick it on i really should get this out before i do this video every month because i tell you every month about this clip and then i have to pull it out of my drawer and find it okay here we go this giant paper clip that has a magnet on the top when you take the little pin piece out they fit perfectly together so then you have this very very cute little paper clip okay so then we have the sticky notes which the sticky notes are cool because they're vellum so that makes them a little bit thinner on your projects and then also they are self-adhesive which is awesome because vellum can be tricky to get adhesive on without you seeing so we've got lots of umbrellas which is awesome for like all the rain rain boots a very playful and fun hot air balloon sun and clouds how cute is that okay i'm obsessed the rainbow the sun in the clouds, so cute. This little rainbow, hot air balloon. I normally don't pull all of these out for you, but I just, I love this. These colors are super cute. Okay, so then I'm gonna try to get these guys back in here. Okay, so then we have the clear monthly card which is so cute because that would be so fun like if you punched it and put it in your planner or if you used it for a bookmark those are just ways i'm thinking about obviously sky is the limit you could use them any which way okay so these stickers are basically the cutest oh my gosh look at those days of the week with the little kites and then the ones that are multicolor. oh i love them very 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 cute all right, so then the overlay, which is, you know, acetate or whatever. Let me put it on the back of here so you can see it a little better. It has clouds and a rainbow kite and a little bird. And then this is the vellum, which again is the tiny little print, which I love a lot. Very cute. Okay, so let's look at this washi. I'm very excited to pull this little guy out. because I love a good washi tape and I love a good rainbow washi tape, especially when it's a stripe one because I feel like they're very easy to use. So finding the washi for the first time for me can be a little difficult. You're probably thinking that's not difficult. Well, for me, for some reason it is. All right, so look how cute that is. It's great colors, I love it. Okie doke. So let's pull that aside and then let's take out the journaling kit. What's cool about the journaling kit is that it can be used in anything, but it's all very thin, flat stuff so that if you like to use like a bound book or you don't like to have dimensional projects, this one is for you. All right, so it's got white washi tape with the tiniest little colorful polka dots. And then it's got a four by six card, which of course is cute, but then on the back has the journaling prompts. These are the stickers. I'll open those up in a second. But then you have two sheets of rub-ons, which I love these. They're not like any of the other rub-ons and it has the days of the week. It's got the splatters, which I always love, and just lots of things to use in journaling, memory keeping, basically anything. But again, rub-ons are essentially completely flat. So that is awesome for planners and journals and stuff. All right, so all of these are the clear-ish vellum stickers. Oh, I love it. I love the font. I love the colors. I love the whole thing. And then all of the little washi stickers, which gives you lots more designs, but they're the same. And actually that's how I think I'll probably use this. This is a full sheet. I'll probably cut these into more strips because they're so cute. And then also a full sheet 
I love these. I always love this font. And then days of the weeks and numbers, which again are cool because they are on that vellum sticker paper. Now don't forget, I will link everything up for you below so that you can check these out if you want to. And like I said, if you have not used the code, there is a discount code too. Okay, so these are the memory keeping sticker kits and I love to use these in my memory planner, but if you use like a big happy planner, like an eight and a half by 11 planner, these are sized to fit that. Okay, so cute. These are always my favorite date stickers. I don't know why, I just use them a ton. And I love these too. I love to use them in conjunction with other decorative elements, but also with photos. And then this is a sheet of the vellum sticker. So they're a little bit thinner and just really pretty. Okay, so then last but not least is the classic cousin sticker kit. And this one is, fits perfectly in the weekly columns of the Hobonichi Cousin. I use an A5. I don't know about the A6, but it does fit in the A5. But it's still really functional too. So you can see there's lots of decorative stickers, but then you have box stickers. And then you have the checklists and all of the, you know, appointment type stickers, but then you get some decoratives and more like days of the week, dates, washi, alphas, and then also, of course, the vellum stickers, which are great in a Hobonichi. So that is it. That's the Take Flight kits. I'll link all the things up below in case you're curious about any of these. And then also, if you have not used it, there is a one-time coupon code down there as well. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the kits, and I will be back with you real soon.